Apex Legends just dropped a huge new stories from the Outlands trailer showcasing their next legend for Season 11, and it's someone we know, Ash. In the trailer, she appears to have regained her memories of her past and Horizon helped her unlock previous abilities that seem to have been locked away with her memories. How did all of this happen, and who exactly is Ash? I've got the full lore breakdown for you, so don't worry, let's get to it. In order to understand Ash's full backstory, we have to go back to Titanfall 2 where she first appeared as one of the bosses. Ash was working under Blisk's Apex Predators mercenary group and was then defeated by Jack Cooper. She was already a simulacrum pilot at this point and, after her encounter with Jack Cooper, she was restored by Vincent Dynamics. Ash began to look into discovering more about her past while continuing to work for Vincent. Sometime during this period, Ash was destroyed again, but her body was hidden away in an abandoned lab in Kings Canyon and Blisk threw her head into a ball of energy that looked something like the rift in Olympus. This transported Ash's head into nine broken pieces into an alternate dimension of Kings Canyon. Oh, also, this dimension of Kings Canyon is the same dimension we saw Shadow Revenant for the first time during the Halloween event. The legends in the Season 5 quest ended up rebuilding Ash. Loba had made a deal with Hammond Robotics that in exchange for retrieving Ash's head, Loba would receive the location of Revenant's source code to enact her revenge for her parents' death. While Ash's head is restored to her abandoned body, you hear a series of codes and chatter being echoed around as Ash powers on. In that sequence, you can hear her repeating the Olympus access code that Crypto found. Once we put Ash together, Loba got her source code and Hammond got all the information they wanted from Ash and threw her into the dumpster where Pathfinder later found her. Blisk realized Pathfinder was housing Ash and went to tell her an old friend of hers was back and offers Ash a job in the Apex games. So wait, who's this friend Blisk was referring to? It's our very own Dr. Mary Summers, aka Horizon. If you go back to Horizon's story, she had an assistant named Dr. Ashley Reed. This was Ash before she became a simulacrum. Ash followed Horizon to her Branthium recovery mission, but ended up betraying her since she was still a mercenary working for someone else who wanted that energy source. Ash stole the Branthium and left Horizon for dead and returned to the facility where Horizon's team was working on turning Branthium into a reliable energy source to end the energy crisis in the Outlands. Emily Pecat and Alekia Gibraltar were on that team, Watson's grandmother and Gibraltar's grandfather. When Horizon's son grew up, he joined that team of scientists as an intern and with his help, the team was able to discover Branthium was too dangerous to be calibrated by humans since it would kill them. So they built their own Marvin unit, Pathfinder. However, as they were about to transport this data and Branthium through the Phase Runner on Olympus to the rest of the Outlands, Ash came back with her Apex Predator mercenaries to take back the research and send it elsewhere. But she was fatally injured in her attempt to steal the Branthium, and Pathfinder redirected the Phase Runner to every planet in the Outlands to send the Branthium. When he took the Phase Runner, it exploded, killing everyone left in the lab and creating the energy rift on Olympus in its place. Pathfinder succeeded in saving the Outlands by supplying everyone with Branthium and also through Ash's plans that could have resulted in another frontier war. However, Ash was fatally injured and couldn't be saved, so her mind was preserved by the IMC and she was turned into a simulacrum soldier. That's the Ash we know today that we met in Titanfall 2. In order to preserve her mind from processing the trauma of her death again, her real self and memories were locked away by a code. The same code that Horizon repeated in front of Ash, thus unlocking Ash's human side. But as Ash wakes up, Horizon realizes who she's speaking to and that it's not her friend Lillian Peck from her team, but rather the woman who betrayed her. Ash's human side tries to talk to Horizon, telling her she knows where her son Newton is and knows what happened to him, but Ash shuts her human consciousness out and appears to have regained her full abilities back, similar to how Revenant woke and realized he was a simulacrum capable of more. So now Ash appears to be going into the Apex games as a participant. What she's looking for now, we have no idea, but I'm assuming she has questions for Blisk and isn't going to stop until she gets them. Another thing to note is that when Blisk threw her head into the energy rift, he mentioned he hoped she'd land in a tropical paradise wherever she went. And now with Ash's memories unlocked and her remembering, maybe the next map is that tropical planet that leaks and teases seem to be pointing towards. Which means that Ash and this new map have been in the works since season 6, just constantly under our noses. I'm curious to see where Ash's story will go and how Horizon will react to Ash being on her team. Will Horizon find out what happened to her son? I guess we'll have to find out in season 11, otherwise called Escape. Are you excited to see Ash come to Apex? Let us know! And for more Apex lore and news, keep it here at IGN.